back to another Shop My Stash for the month of May. Today I've decided to do a little bit differently. I've kind of been really um, inspired by, for instance, Emily Noel did a video not too long ago. I can't remember what she called it, but it was basically an eyeshadow, single eyeshadow palette bingo. And since I decided um, for this month to be the month of eyeshadow singles, instead of, instead of choosing an eyeshadow palette, I decided to do to use all of my single eyeshadows in addition to the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, which looks like this and is very, very old and it probably needs to go, but I'm gonna give it another chance and see if it still has its pigment and how it performs. And so I did this makeup look today and I'm I was happy. very happy with the shadows that was chosen and I can't wait to do this every single day for the month of May. I think this is such a fun um, way of applying my makeup. Not that this eyeshadow um, look was very creative at all, but I think that it turned out pretty good. I'm very happy with how it looks and um, the fact that I can actually pick up my kids wearing this eyeshadow look. That's kind of a, a must for me. Other than that, I did decide to keep most of the makeup that I chose for last month. I'm just gonna change out, you know, some of the lipsticks or the lip products, um, the blushes, um, what else? Highlighters. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll tell you along the way. So hopefully you enjoy this video and uh, let's get to it. So I am bringing in this um, MAC Painterly paint pot for this month and I did make this list a while ago now but I it seems like I have 26 um, eyeshadow singles to choose from and I've categorized them into lid shades, crease shades, highlight and outer V shades and I also have trio that I'm not going to include this time. Uh, for this palette bingo, or not palette bingo, eyeshadow bingo. And I've also had the Wet n Wild Brulee as a base shade. So let's see if we can try this number generator. I find this very exciting and fun. Because you never know what colors are going to be combined. Um, okay. So First off, we're going to choose the lid shades, so those are, there's 10 of them, so I'm going to put a minimum of 1 to 10, and then let's generate. Okay, 2, let's see, 2 is the glazel, which one is that? Ooh, that is this one. This is more of a um, loose shimmery product. It's called Loose Eyeshadow from Glacial in G1. I should probably do some swatches. This is beautiful, actually. So that's that. As for crease, I have five eyeshadows to choose from. And he chose number one, which is the Inglot Triple Taupe. So I have this, these um, triple um, eyeshadows and this palette that I've chosen to bring in for this month. I have powder, blush, and two triple eyeshadows. So this is the one that was chosen for the crease. So those are the three shades and the triple eyeshadow. And then there's highlight. Number three, which is the ColourPop Glowfish. Where do I have that one? I think this is what it looks like. And it's the top shade right there. By the way, if I didn't show you, um, I have my singles organized in this one. 
And then I have like a few Sia palettes and a Inguap palette and the trio that I was talking about. Okay, lastly, we have for the Outer V, which is four shades. Number one, Makeup Geeks Cocoa Bear, which is not called Cocoa Bear anymore because they're not married anymore. This is what that one looks like, kind of a warm, very warm brown. There you go. There you have um, Cocoa Bear on the bottom there and all the rest of the shades. Very neutral and all of them are cool tones besides Cocoa Bear. So um, yeah, we'll see if I can make this look any interesting. I'm sure it's going to be a very good, neutral, everyday look, but yeah, let's start. I think in addition to all the other um, eyeliners that I have in here, I'm going to add the Gold Digger from Makeup Store. And I think that's the one I'm going to apply. I'm keeping all the other lip liner, brow pencil, eyeshadow stick, keeping everything from last month. I just want to add a little bit down here. I'm using the same primer as last month, the Ordinary. Same concealer and corrector. Same BB cream is actually what I've been using in Blonde Beige from Isadora. I'm using my fingers so much these days, it's so easy, and a lot of these products works really well with um, getting a little bit warmed up from the temperature of my hands. I'm going to use this um, face powder from the Inglot Freedom System palette. Um, I do remember this being a little bit on the heavier side. It's a little bit thick. Uh, the color is a little bit too dark for me, but we'll see if we can make this work. If not, I should really get rid of it. Keeping the same contour product from Catrice. So. I'm going to use this blush from the palette that I've um, chosen and also I have chosen the Annabelle Minerals um, blush in Romantic as well to use this month. But right now I'm going to use this one. Then I have this little Mary Luminizer that I'm trying to use up. It's one of my favorite highlighters of all time. And I'm pretty sure I will repurchase once I use this one up. Using the same e.l.f. brow pencil in taupe. Same one as last month. The Jordana brow shadow in light ash light ash brown of 
Grande Lash Primer. Love it. The Essence Falls Lashes Mascara. Not really loving this one, but it's okay. Alright, and the last new thing I'm going to bring in are my lip products. So I'm taking out um, the Dose of Colors lip gloss in Messy Bun and the Isadora Glossy Lip Treat. I'm taking out those and I'm bringing in these two new lipsticks. The H&M Misty Mauve lipstick and the Kiko Pink Sand. Okay, those are not very good swatches, but the top one is from H&M and the bottom one is the Kiko. So I'm going for the Kiko one for this look. This is my top three favorite lip products of all times. Uh, I'd say, or maybe like top five. So creamy and nice and it smells really nice. It feels very luxurious with the packaging. I should have done a lip liner. Is it too late to put it on top? Let's try that. I'm gonna do the Model Co. one. I'm like baiting myself. And this color pop, pretty fresh. Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. Love it. In addition to the lip products being out, I'm taking out the blushes that I had in last month's Shop My Stash and as well as the highlighter, the eyeshadow palette, and this little Inglot palette that I had in. Other than that, I'm keeping everything else in. And also, I just want to mention this, um, it is beautiful. And I've found that my favorite shades are these two on the lid, this one in the crease. This looks more like bright violet on camera, but it's not. It's more muted and light. And then I think this brown shade is really pretty. So those are my favorites and I've been loving this eyeshadow palette a lot this month. I hope you enjoy this kind of video. Um, sharing the products with you this way is a lot of fun for me and so hopefully you liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye!